Hello everyone, my name is Vic of EOS MarketBiz and for today I'm going to share with you some price analysis of the top coins and a subscription website as well. So without further ado, let's proceed to the topic. Okay. So Bitcoin, Ethereum, Ripple, Bitcoin Cash, EOS Stellar, Litecoin, Cardano, Monero and Tron price analysis now of November 5. Okay. So let's get started. So we are into the final two months of the year which have historically proven strong for Bitcoin. So will the markets rally from current levels by the end of December? During a recent simulation of three econometric models by Greg Giordano and Panos Mordukotas, two models pointed to a rally at, a cur at current levels, while the third pointed to a sharp fall. The most bullish outcome was a rally of 12,629, while the most bearish w was to fall to 816 dollars so the third model projected a small rally to 8573 today marks the deadline for members of the public to submit proposals to the u.s securities and exchange commissions regarding its consideration of certain bitcoin exchange traded fund etf proposals the final decision on the etf will not be made until early 2019 in its latest annual report, the SEC said that its focus is to reduce the amount of cryptocurrency-related scams. If the SEC succeeds in this effort, it will bolster confidence in the asset class and attract institutional and retail investors alike. How are traders positioned as December draws closer? What are the key levels to watch both on the upside and the downside? Let's find out. Okay. So BTC to USD pair. So Bitcoin is currently close to the moving averages, which have both turned flat. The RSI is also near the midpoint, which shows a neutral sentiment. Both the bulls and the bears are currently in wait and see mode. Positive news amid an year of end of the year expectation for Bitcoin can prompt bulls to attempt to break out of $6,831 and a rally to next overhead resistance at $7,400. Conversely, while markets remain largely stagnant and range-bound, pessimism and re-estimations of Bitcoin end of the year price could prompt bears to attempt to break down from the critical support zone of $5,900 to $6,075. In 2018, the Bitcoin in USD pair has held the $5,900 mark, on many occasions, hence traders can keep a stop loss of $5,900 on their long positions. A break of this can trigger a number of stop losses, resulting in a quick fall to $5,450 and further to $5,000. Okay, so that is more Bitcoin for Ethereum. So Ethereum USD pair. The rebound from the support at $188 has carried Ethereum to the 50-day SMA. That is acting as resistance. If the bull sustain above the 50-day SMA, a rally to the top of the range at $249 is probable. We are not suggesting a trade at current levels because the moving averages are flat and the RSI has just inched into the positive territory. The indicators do not point to a trend reversal. The Ethereum USD pair is likely to embark on a new uptrend once it is above $249. The traders can buy the close above the resistance. Our bullish view will be invalidated if the bears sink the price below 188 and 167 US dollars. Okay, so that is for Ethereum USD pair. For um, Ripple XRP USD, the tight range in Ripple has resolved the upside, resolved to the upside rather. This shows that the bulls have the upper hand in the short term. We expect the virtual currency to resume its upward move and reach 0.62, with minor resistance at $0.55. Therefore, we suggested a buy and a breakout on close above $0.48. We wait for a strong close because in the downtrending market, this strategy keeps us away from fake breakouts. However, when the markets become bullish, we will change the strategy and buy the breakouts as wait, as waiting for the price to close above a certain level can result in missed trades. Okay. 
So the 50-day SMA is trending up and the 20-day EMA has also started to turn up. The RSI has also risen into positive territory. All these indicators point to a possible rally in the XRP USD pair. Our bullish view will be invalidated if the bears sink to the price below $0.42. Okay. So Bitcoin Cash USD pair. So Bitcoin Cash has embarked on a bull run of its own. Buoyed by fundamental view news. It has risen sharply from $408 critical support. A breakout of $488 invalidated the descending triangle pattern. Used only when the bearish pattern is negated, it is a sign to go out and buy. The pullback on the Bitcoin Cash USD pair picked a pick up to momentum above $488 and quickly reached the overhead resistance at $591. If this level is crossed, the next target on the upside is $660. Traders who are long can keep their stop, stop loss at $400. The RSI has reached the overbought zone. Therefore, a couple of days of consolidation is possible, after which the digital currency should resume its recovery and try to break out of $660. US dollars. So the EOS is the bear. So this is what we waited for. So EOS has risen close to the midpoint of the tight range of five to six dollars both moving averages are flat and the rsi is just above the 50 level the current bounce from around five dollars might carry the use usd pair to six dollars which above which a rally to 6.8 is probable if the bulls fail to scale the six dollar mark the range bound action will be extended we anticipate the digital currency to start a new uptrend on the breakout above 6.8 dollars the target levels to keep in mind are $9.1 and $11.4. Trading who are traders who are holding long positions can keep their stops at $4.90. Okay. So where were we? For XLM USD pair, Stellar has broke out of the moving average. It is currently attempting to sustain above the downtrend. Line of the descending triangle will anticipate strong resistance in the 0 0.24 to 0 0.27 dollar zone. If the bull sustain above the downtrend line of the descending triangle, it will invalidate the bearish pattern, which is a bullish sign. Above 0 0.27, we expect the LXM USD pair to rally up to 0 0.36 with minor resistance at 0 0.30 dollars. Traders can profit from the rally by the shading long positions on close above $0.27 and keeping the stop loss at $0.20. Okay, that's for XLM USD pair. For Litecoin, I'm just going to read the top or short or brief. Okay, so brief description of it, brief price, anal price analysis rather. So the bounce from the 47.24 to 49.46 support zone has carried Litecoin. To the 50 day SMA triggering our buy recommendation made in a previous analysis. Traders who have entered long positions can maintain their stops at $47. Right? So, the Litecoin USD pair has been stuck in the $49 to, $49 to $69 range since early August. If the bulls clear the overhead resistance, we anticipate a new uptrend to start. Therefore, positional traders can go long on a close above $69, right? So that is for Litecoin USD pair. For Cardano USD pair, the bulls, uh, the bear rather, the bears could not capitalize on the breakdown of the symmetrical triangle. Cardano found support at 0 0.07 US dollars and bounced from there. It has again entered into the triangle and validating break the breakdown. This is a positive sign, right? So that is for Cardano. For Monero, is Monero rose above the immediate resistance of 112 on October 4. The bull sustained above the level. A rally to the top of the range is probable above $128. The upwards move can extend to $150, which will act as a stiff resistance. We shall wait for a new uptrend to begin before recommending any trades. Okay. For Tron, uh, USD pair. Tron has reached the midpoint of the 0 0.02, 0 0.0183 to 0 0.0281 range. It has risen above both moving averages and the RSI has also climbed above 
the 50 level which is mild positive okay if buying dries up the current levels the Tron USD pair can slide to 0.02 dollars a breakdown of this support can reset, retest the critical support at 0.0183 dollars okay so that are the price analysis of the top coins for today right guys and you can visit the web this uh, link cointelegraph.com slash news where we can find the Bitcoin, Ethereum, Ripple, Bitcoin Cash, US Teller, Litecoin, Cardano, Monero, Tron, Price Analysis of November 5, right? So this is brought to you by Cointelegraph. And now, um, I'm going to share with you this uh, subscription website, uh, which is called preferredcurrency.no. So this subscription website is a website where you subscribe for $15 a month or $180 a year um, you can use fiat or crypto as payment for this and what um, you might be asking what newsletter are we going to receive are you going to receive what you subscribe here so the newsletter that you're going to receive um, is has I mean has news of the latest updates on cryptocurrency and also tips and also a spreadsheet where you can view right view the top coins um or the top coins that are showing the best news today and that is brought to you by don the guru uh, and it is according to his research okay so once you already have subscribed here and once you receive the newsletter you can access the spreadsheet so please don't forget to subscribe at preferredcurrency.news and also in this website you can also earn cryptocurrency if you want to become an affiliate you can click here so you can earn affiliate commissions for seven levels deep right so if you uh, you can log in here if you already have your login credentials and if you uh, have not yet registered you can register here okay so once you fill out the form, you're going to receive an email of the um, confirmation that you're already part of the affiliate program. And inside that is the, your login credentials. Okay, so guys, please don't forget to visit preferredcurrency.news. Right, so that's it. Some price analysis and preferredcurrency.news. Guys. Before I go, I just want to say that I am not a financial advisor and everything I say here is not a recommendation for you to buy and sell using crypto. You must always do your own research um, before deciding for yourself, okay? So this has been Vic and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.